All right, Bolo Buddies, it is time for a reseller vlog. I have pulled all of my orders. I'm ready to show you guys what sold. I've got a big money Bolo coming your way, but I also got a policy violation today, and I wanna talk to you guys about that, what I did to resolve the issue, and what's next. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. You are not gonna believe what just sold. Actually, you might believe it. It sold to the same person that bought the other one. I showed it to you guys in a video just the other day, and this one sold for $145 plus shipping. It's this little beauty. Oh, I love it, it's so cute. And this is the one where the actual top comes off. And I have one more available like the first one that I sold. Um, but yeah, these are just incredible. Definitely a uh, bolo. And I got to figure out where that little flower just came from. Um, 145 plus shipping. Okay, bolo buddies. So this next item, I don't know if you guys remember, but I got a huge mystery box from a viewer. And um, it was jam-packed full of toys. And this item came out of that box. It's this uh, authentic Barbie uh, jacket, and this one is vintage, not in the greatest condition, so I sold this for $8 plus shipping, and that's what it looks like. This item I picked up for a buck at a garage sale, and this is what I call my craft tote. And I sold these for $12.40 and they are picture frame cards and I sold all three of them, whoops, I dropped one, for $12.40 and the buyer paid shipping. So those are going out also. Guys, I'm never going to believe what sold. Remember, I got it at the bins. I just did a bolo video on it the other day and I sold it today, best offer for $60 and I got it at the bins. Did anybody guess right? I sold the glow worm. And if you want to know how to change the batteries in this thing, oh my goodness, it's quite the task. I do have a video on that. And I talk about what these sell for. These are definitely a bolo. So be on the lookout for vintage glow worms. Okay, so listing is paying off. Most of these items that you have seen me pull are newer items. So that is good. Um, I kind of was on a listing freeze. I wasn't getting a whole lot listed. So I am back to listing and listing and listing and trying to be more focused. Um, this next item is an older listing and it sold for $18.60 plus shipping. And it just goes to show you that these small toys, you should definitely look them up because some of them can bring you a nice profit. I got this at an estate sale for about a quarter. It was in a big lot of um, calico critters. All right, I'm pretty sure he is back here, and he has a beard. There he is. So I'm guessing, I don't know, he's got a beard. The other two do not come with it, so I'm going to pull him out, and $18.60 plus shipping. Look how cute he is. Small and mighty, right? Can you believe it? Over $20 with tax and shipping. All right, Bola buddies, so uh, update. I did sell similar on some items, and... I just sold something yesterday and I went in and I was going to tell you guys, this has been listed forever and I was going to tell you how long it's been listed. Well, I relisted it on, I think, the 2nd or the 8th of February. It was the first week of February. I re, I did, ended it and did sell similar and it sold. Eek! So should I be updating all these listings that have been listed forever, refreshing them, making them new? <gasps> I think I should. I think for those items that I've had listed for over three years, I need to go in and do sell similar. Let me know if you guys do this. Let me know if it works for you. And I'm going to show you what I sold. All right. So this has been listed for so long that it's in my McDonald's tote. I, oh wow, a sword. Wonder what that goes to. Um, I bought a ton of these a long time ago. It was a whole tote of uh, McDonald's and Happy Meal toys and they actually had the information on the bag. So that really, really helped me to figure it out. But this is the last one in the tote. I have sold out officially 
most of the items were long tail, but some of them sold quickly. Do Happy Meal toys sell? Yes. Are most of them bread and butter? Yes. Can some of them be big money? Yes. You definitely have to look them up. But this is from 1995. These are Taco Bell. I have found that sometimes like Hardee's, Taco Bell, some of the things besides McDonald's and Wendy's, those can go for a little more or sell a little more quickly. I sold these for $8.20 plus the buyer paid shipping. All right, so before we go any further, let's talk about this policy violation. Um, it was not on eBay, it was on Mercari. And it was just a, an accident really, but either way, I still got an email saying that I had a policy violation. And what it said is that I listed a prohibited item that it was, I think the words were not authentic. Um, it was a Tiffany necklace. Let me pop it up here. Meaning it had the name Tiffany on it. And apparently that triggered the word Tiffany. And I guess they thought it was like Tiffany and company. I have no idea. But I received this email from Mercari saying that they removed my item and that I had this violation. So, um... I knew that this was a mistake, obviously, because I had the name brand of the item in the title, in the description. Um, again, this is my listing. This is the description. Everything is there. I was not trying to pass this off as a Tiffany and Company item. It was just simply the name Tiffany on the necklace. So I could have just let this go, but I'm like, you know, I don't want to let this go. I do not want to have a ding on my account. I want them to know that this is not okay. This is not what happened. And I sent them an email and I heard back with them probably, I'm trying to think what time I sent the message. It was earlier today. I heard back with like within eight maybe hours and the updated email said that they were sorry. They have reactivated my listing. It was a mistake. This is the email they sent me. And the first thing I did is I went back in and I took that listing down because I am not going to take a chance of having that happen again. It's just not worth it. I have no idea why this listing got taken down because it simply said Tiffany on the necklace. <laughs> so just one of those things that happens. So everything's fine. They've removed the ding or whatever from my account. I took the, I took the listing down. I took it off of eBay also because... I mean, if this can happen on Mercari, it could happen on eBay, and it's just not worth it. It's just a um, costume jewelry necklace, not worth a whole lot of money, and not worth my account. So I want to tell you that I'm super happy with how things went with Mercari. Um, quick response, quick fix. I mean, they even reactivated the item, so I was super happy with how everything went with this. Am I disappointed that it happened? Yes, but these things happen all the time. The quick response time and how they handled it, A plus Mercari, A plus. Um, if you guys aren't selling on Mercari or buying on Mercari, I do have a link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join with my referral link and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. I love the platform. Things like this don't happen very often, but I did want to share my experience with you more just to let you know to reach out and communicate, and usually you can get the problem fixed. All right, so the next item was from my, um, let's just show you my inventory. This is all my money, my money pile right here. Whoop, whoop, look at all that. Oh, that's just money, money. All right. So, um, what was I going to tell you guys? Oh, so I did some retail arbitrage many, many years ago at a David's Bridal. I've talked to you guys about it. I went on to the website and I ordered stuff from their clearance. I bought a whole bunch of diable shoes. Now they only retail for about 30 bucks. I can't remember what I paid for them. I'd have to look it up, but was it a good buy? Mm. I, I did really well on some of the dresses. Some of the shoes I got really cheap. Some of them I paid a little more for. I don't know what my average cost of goods was. Have I made money? Yes. But are a lot of the items just sitting? Yes. Would I do it again? No. All right. So here is what I sold. These retail for $29. They are diable flat shoes. They're for weddings. People can dye them uh, to match their dress. 
These are a wide and the brand or the style is Tory wide dyeable. And they're just a pair of uh, shoes. Again, not my best, not my best purchase, but they're brand new. They're great. I thought that they would sell because I felt like they were pretty neutral and people would be able to uh, use these for their weddings and stuff like that. Or if they're a bridesmaid, um, I have sold a lot, but they did not sell as quickly as I had hoped. This was a retail arbitrage online pickup from a place called David's Bridal. And I sold these for $15.49 plus shipping the buyers all in for $31.27. I will pop these down into a 15 by 8 by 6 USPS shoebox. You can get those free on the website. Love that box. I use it for more than just shoes. So definitely pick up that box if you don't have it already. All right, this next item sold for $8 plus shipping. It came from an estate clean out and I've probably got pennies into it. Almost didn't list it, but thought, you know what? I remember having this when I was young and I'm going to list this. And the buyer paid shipping. Oh, it's that tote down there. So I got to move all these totes. <laughs> it wasn't so bad, but this tote is loaded. Um, I know I bubble wrapped it because it is a mirror so now i just gotta i gotta find it and is this it um mirror there it is bubble wrapped and ready to go do i bubble wrap and get everything ready to go beforehand all the time no but i'll tell you when it's ready to go it is ready to go pop that in a box I may put some extra bubble wrap on it since it's a mirror and I may double box it just to keep it safe. I just thought I'd give you a better view of my money mountain here. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It's incredible, right? It's incredible. Here it is. I'm going to show it to you here. My husband is right above me where I'm pulling packages and he has his radio blaring. So not going to get to see me pull this one from the tote, but this is what I sold. She's got her shoes on. She is ready to go. And again, this is not a vintage Barbie. This is a newer one and it's still sold. So um, she had over accessories. So I went ahead and grabbed it from the Goodwill bin. So I say, if you can pick up Barbies for a good deal, they can sell. And this actually sold pretty quickly. Right, the next item is this rope and ride, and I got this out of a thrift store mystery box. Major bread and butter. This sold for $7.44 plus shipping, but it's just a little Geotrax re replacement um, cart for a train set. So definitely be on the lookout for these replacements. People do buy them. They lose them or they need them to add to their sets, and they will sell. Okay, this next item I pulled out of the Goodwill bins, and it sold pretty quickly. It is a Chantilly Lane by PBC. Anytime I find Chantilly Lane, they are automated, not automated, <laughs> they are animated plush and they do really well. Typically they're like bears that sing and this is what this one looks like and I sold it for $21.70 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh my goodness, it is somewhere in this tote. I'm not going to make you guys wait. I'll show you in a minute. Here he is and I'm super happy to say he was sitting right on top. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. So uh, should we be refreshing our listings? Um, guess what I did today? I went in and I think I did around 50. I did sell similar. Yep. After that Taco Bell Happy Meal toy sold, I was like, I am going to refresh. So I think I did around 50 today. Went ahead and did that. I'm going to try to do some more. Um, I don't know if I'll do it daily. I'm not going to try to like set a goal or make a commitment. I'm just going to do what I can when I can. I'm not a big put pressure on myself type of person. I just do what I can when I can because I don't want to hate my job. Like I love my job. So um, I am mixing it up with YouTube and eBay and Poshmark and Mercari. I mean, I cross post when I can. I just do everything when I can. And obviously when you're doing one thing, you can't be doing another. So um, you got to find the balance. Um, I do use List Perfectly to cross post. I showed you guys that in my last vlog video. So if you'd like to see a demonstration of how to cross post with List Perfectly, you can check out my last vlog of me just actually doing it, or you can go down into the description of the video. And I have a video that shows you how to 
cross posts from platform to platform. It also, <laughs> it also shows you how to use the catalog and it also tells you other features of List Perfectly. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk. It also shows you other features of List Perfectly. So go down there to the description and you can click on that video and watch it. Check it out if it's something it looks like you would use. Um, I know that it will benefit your business because I'm using it and it is benefiting my business. Um, I always say that you know, selling on one platform is great, but you're putting all of your eggs in one basket. Um, if you sell on multiple platforms, there's going to be more eyes on your items. And I've talked about this before. So if you are been here a while, you've heard me say this, that people that um, are on Mercari and Poshmark, a lot of them are hobby sellers and they are using their money, their credits from what they sell to buy stuff. So they are shopping only on that platform. They're not going to eBay. So if you guys are only selling on eBay, you're losing out on potential buyers for your items. I've had items that have sat on eBay and I cross post them and they sell on the other platforms. So go check out some of my what sold videos for Mercari and for Poshmark. I'm not listing anything different. I'm listing the same things I put on eBay. I am just cross posting them with List Perfectly. If you watch that video down below and decide that you want to try it, you can use coupon or referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month. So, um, I don't know. I love it. So yes, I'm going to keep sharing it with you guys because I think it is fantastic. Um, so refreshing items, uh, cross posting. What else did we talk about? I had those big money bolos where I changed the title. Um, I talked about that in the last reseller vlog. So the first item I sold that little egg thing with the little uh, chenille pipe cleaner. I was over at Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle's uh, live show and she was talking about Easter items and I had her pull up my item and I'm like, I've had these listed over a year. They are incredible and they are just not selling. And um, Noelle and Jody Toy Attic put in the comments some key words for me to use to update my title. And after I updated my title, those items, two of them have sold. Now they did go to the same buyer and it could have just been that Easter's coming and people are searching Easter like items, but I do feel like those keywords that they gave me for the title helped me show up more in the search. So a huge shout out and thank you to Farm Girl Scavenger Noel and Jody Toy Attic. I will link them down below. They have amazing YouTube channels that you will definitely learn from. So go and subscribe to them for sure. Right now, go do it. Um, let's see, what else? Um, the glow worm. How cool was that? I just released the video, uh, the Goodwill Bins video. If you guys missed it, go check it out. I show you guys when I actually sourced that glow worm. Super cool. That sold really quick. I did take a best offer of 60. Um, I was really happy with that quick sale. It was a super fast sale. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, the policy violation, I mean, it is what it is. I'm really thankful that it got taken care of and that it is off my account and moving forward. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and leave me an emoji of, just leave me your favorite emoji. Thanks for watching.